With 27 bones, more than 20 muscles, and an infinite number of uses, the human hand is one of the body's most complex systems. It's amazing what the, the human hand can do and what it's capable of. And also one of the most indispensable, as Adrian Albrecht discovered when he lost his in a sawmill accident over 20 years ago. For the first about five or six years, I used a standard body-powered two-finger hook. And when my kids were born, I actually stopped wearing it because I was afraid I was going to gonna hurt one of them with it. A truly functional set of bionic digits, a Terminator hand, has been something only seen in the movies until now. One of the things that makes upper limb prosthetics really exciting is like we're still just scratching the surface. Every day or every time that we use this, we're figuring out new things that it can do. It's the eye limb digits. They are independently motorized electric digits. I wear it probably seven to eight hours a day. Just like the end of, the, you know, you come home, at the end of the day, you kick your shoes off, I throw my hand off <laughs> when I'm done, done using it for the day. So the, the hand that he's running, um, even 15 years ago, would have taken a backpack to run. It took years of advances in miniaturization to create this unique and amazingly functional partial hand prosthetic. Two small lithium-ion batteries power a low-voltage microprocessor and a number of efficient DC motors tucked inside the fingers. Even though the, all the fingers are moving, it doesn't work exactly like a hand. Rather than you know, doing the same thing every time, the fingers can stop in you know, different positions to conform around an object or to shape themselves to an object. I, I can manipulate something as delicate as a flower without crushing it. But I can also put, put a grip on something that you couldn't pry it out of my hand. To maintain that grip, specialists at Advanced Arm Dynamics custom fit Adrian with this suction mount that secures the eye digits to his partial hand. Inside the mount is the control interface. He's got two sets of electrodes that are detecting myoelectric potential. They sense the contraction of two separate muscles in Adrian's partial hand. We had to teach him, okay, now that you can open and close the fingers, now you have to make this pattern of contraction to ch change grip patterns. It's like using a sort of Morse code to tell the digits what he wants them to do. Adrian has five grip patterns available at any given time, and he has the ability to program some of his own. The manufacturer has built in uh, the ability to connect to the hand with an iPhone based off of a Bluetooth connectivity, so he can change the grip pattern, and then it also gives the ability to save it as lists of favorites. This gives Adrian a versatile tool that's as useful at work as it is at home. Probably the place I'm, I'm seeing that it's most useful, unfortunately, is in the kitchen because then there's an expectation I'm actually in there. As for the bionic man look, it's something Adrian shows and doesn't mind showing off. It's not a real hand. I, I don't want it, the pretense of it trying to look like a real hand. It's pretty neat to be able to hold onto your steering wheel while you do something else and it's kind of fun to watch commuters look over and do the double take, like, well, what did I just see? 